your 2022 Shining Star, Superstar Director Sarah Speechley. shocked to receive the 2022 Shining Star Award last year. Yes, this is my embarrassing picture. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, the next, oh, there it is. A little delay. Yes. Okay, we can take that down now. Thank you. <laughs> the next day, I was asked to share a tip. I said, enjoy the ride. Sensi is like a roller coaster. There are ups and there are downs, but stay on because it is worth it. Today, I wanted to talk more in depth about that. There will be times where you are pushing up a hill in your business, working harder to get the same results you've achieved easily before. There will also be times you feel like you are rushing down the hills where you are reaping the rewards of that hard push. There may also be turns or plateaus where you lose your passion or coast along but not really enjoying the ride. No matter where you are, you have control to change it. I have been with Sensi for over 18 years and have experienced successes and struggles both personally and professionally. I joined in 2005 because I fell in love with the product and wanted to stay home with my kids. I didn't have family support at first. And when I started, no one knew what Sensi was. They didn't know what a warmer was or how to use it. I remember taking orders and mailing them to Sensi and hoping the orders made it to the shipping container. And the products I hopefully would make it back to me. Some of those challenges were too much for some consultants. Out of all the consultants who joined in the first year, only 20 of them are still consultants. Those of us who stayed had faith that Sensi was a great company. We trusted Orville and Heidi in this amazing product. One of the lessons I learned from early in the years is to trust that Sensi always has our best interests in mind at heart. I let Sensi focus on the business side and I focus on what I could do, sell, recruit, grow and help my team. Even still, I find myself pouring into what I can do. When Sensi rolls out something I don't understand, like shipping changes, price increases, or other changes, I still trust them and know they will have the best intentions. Which brings me to my first tip for tonight, trust in Sensi. In order to be successful with anything, you must have trust in what you are doing. Another challenge I know we have all faced is back orders. In fall 2006, Sensi warmers were still being made by other companies. I ordered products for an event and everything went on back order. And after, a date after Christmas. Sensi kindly gave us warmers that were in stock. I received 30 of these craftsmen and cornucopias. That's all I had. They're kind of ugly, huh? It wasn't ideal, but I changed my strategy. If a consultant didn't like these warmers, I would, would just encourage them to put them behind the sugar bowl or the cookie jar or behind a picture. The point was their house smelled good. I was able to sell every one of those warmers at my show. When you choose to stay positive and shift your mindset and action, you will keep moving forward in spite of challenges. My second tip, stay positive. Going down a negative rabbit hole sucks the joy out of anything we do. And when this happens, it's hard for the logical side of our brain to find a solution. I have always had personal struggles. Well, another personal struggle I had. I was on complete bed rest with my last child flat in bed for six months straight. I couldn't do home parties or events. 
but I didn't give up. I changed how I worked my business. While on bed rest, I started working online and doing catalog parties. At the time, this seemed like a huge struggle in my business, being flat in bed during the busiest time of our year. And I wanted to be clear, working online in 2007 was very different than what it is today. <laughs> but that is my third tip, never give up. Last year at SFR, Amy Purdy said, you have the choice to let your challenges break you down or build you up. I love this quote because this is so true. I could have let my challenges break me, but I chose to let them build me up and help me be stronger. And looking back, those months of bed rest really just prepared me for things to come. In fall 2009, I had a major struggle with my health. Yes, before that, I was a very active person. I loved to hike, bike, and rock climb. But one day I was struck with major pain. It hurt to stand, walk, and even painful just sitting up. I was back in bed for a while. It took several years to get diagnosis. And 14 years later, I am still doing treatments, but only seeing slight improvement. This was and still is one of the hardest times in my life. It has tested me, not just physically, but mentally. But giving up on my Sensi business was never an option. Again, I had to adjust how I worked my business and found ways I could work my business from lying in bed at home or in the hospital or during countless doctor visits. My fourth tip is adjust your business to fit where you are. Life and business will not always be the same. Adjusting your business may focus, be look like focusing on sales over recruiting or establishing home office, office hours. It may be trying new systems or it could just be reaching out of your comfort zone and finally asking someone to join. A challenge I think we all share is sometimes it feels like sales are slower or harder to get. I want to point out that is because we have enjoyed the fast and furious sales at a previous point. The highs and the lows of sales have happened multiple times in the last 18 years since I've been with Sensi. I know several are worried we had a high in our business and sales were easier during the COVID pandemic. Now it seems harder to get the same sales we did a year or two ago. This means we buckle down, we work harder, and focus our efforts where we are able to control most of the situation, which is my fifth tip, focus on what you can control. We can't control the economy, pricing, sold out of products, items. We can't control what our upline or our downline does, but what we can control is what we do. You can control what you do. I chose to focus on sales, recruit, and what I can do for my team. Some of you may feel like you are stuck or in a rut with your business. I personally have found I feel this way when I'm not working consistently. When we become lax in our business, we are bound to encounter slower times. So tip six, be consistent. When I have taken time away from my business, it is harder to come back with enthusiasm or difficulty to get that momentum back. It is also harder to remember the joy. Why did you start Sensi? What do you want out of your Sensi business? These are the questions to ask yourself when you are feel stuck. The answer to these questions will fuel your passion in your business. So tip seven is redefine your passion or your why. Sometimes your why can change throughout the years. Mine sure has. And sometimes you have to change up your business to keep your passion. I want you to think hard about why you are here. Write that down and refer to it often, especially when you need it. One way I keep my passion going is set it goals. They keep me motivated. 
and that's tip eight, set goals. Big or small, goals help you focus on what you are working for. I always strive to earn annual sales, annual mentor, and any incentive offer. I work hard to earn each one, not just because they're amazing, but because they fuel my passion to reach for something. The actions Sensi builds incentives on are what helps our business grow. Look at the summer incentive we are just wrapping up. Recruiting and supporting new team members, promoting Sensi Club, sales in our Sensi products. These are the foundations of our business and shouldn't just be done during the incentive period. These should be habits every month to help us stay consistent. Which leads to tip nine, work hard. I work really hard in my business because I want to keep growing. John Maxwell said, everything worthwhile is uphill, everything. There is nothing in your life that is worthwhile that is quick and easy. It is all uphill. He talks about the uphill. What is that? It is the work that we put into the business. It is the self-discipline, hard work, and consistency. I work hard to keep growing my sales, recruiting, and help my team. As I was preparing to write this, my husband asked me, when was the last time I didn't get a single recruit? I honestly couldn't remember and had to look it up. The last time was July 2018. I don't share this to brag. I share this to show over 18 years later, I am still working on the uphill. Maybe growing a team isn't something you want to work on right now. So what is your focus, sales? Are you still working on achieving higher sales numbers than last month or the same month last year? Are you working on the income producing activities to grow your sales? Some will say it is too hard to sell. Some will say people don't want to buy or we are in a dip and can't get sales, or it is too hard. Yes, it is hard, and it is work, but you are in control of your sales and your recruiting habits. It will not happen overnight, or it may not happen in a month or a year, but I promise, if you are consistent in working, if you refuse to give up, if you commit to trying new things and growing, you can be successful. I have put a lot of work into my own sales this year. I am working harder than I did in 2020, and my sales numbers are at an all-time high. I recognize this is not everyone's situation, and my group numbers are down overall. However, I don't see our current situation as a dip. People still want to buy. Our customers may need a connection a different way, they may need a little more information to see the value in the products. They may be buying in smaller quantities, but they are buying. It is all about the work you are committed to putting in. The last tip I wanted to leave with you is have fun and enjoy your Sensi ride. Last fall, I had the opportunity to be a part of the director retreat in Region 2, where Orville said, your Sensi journey is like a roller coaster. You can't keep going up, it has to go down to build enough momentum to go back up. We are on a roller coaster, but remember, roller coasters are for fun. There is an acceleration in the descent, there is an acceleration in the turnaround, and there is an acceleration and anticipation in the climb. Enjoy the ride. If you aren't having fun, what can you do to change that? Connect with other Sensi consultants who help you have fun along the way. No matter where you are, you can change your course if you want to. You're in control. So these 10 things have helped me through the past 18 years, ups, downs, and all arounds. Remember to trust in Sensi, stay positive, never give up. Adjust your business to fit where you are. Focus on what you can control. Be consistent. Redefine your passion, set goals, work hard, and have fun. Pick one tip to start with today and work through the rest. You are part of something here, and it's more than a financial blessing.
Sensi is a community, friendship, and a belonging to something spectacular. Thank you.